Do you want to rock your next hackathon like a boss? Well, my name's Adrian. I'm going to tell you how. I just got back from the Foursquare Hackathon here in San Francisco, and it was amazing. I had a great time. I built a, a great app with Hadia, and we presented, we pitched, and it was just excellent. Now, the other hackathon I've been to would have been Startup Weekend in May, and good experience overall as well. I got to do a rapid iteration with my group, but, you know, at both hackathons, I noticed a problem. Some people had great ideas, great skill sets, but it just didn't come across in their presentation. So I have some, some ideas here and some feedback I want to share with you folks. I mean, because I want to see you be successful, all right? Last uh, weekend, in fact, was TechCrunch. Uh, they had a hackathon as well, and uh, some of the presentations, again, blew me away. They were just, they were funny, witty, useful. So let me go ahead and give you some tips here. I made a little sheet. Now, hackathons are events that, where people get together and they usually program something, something great, something awesome, something useful. They usually happen on a weekend starting from Friday all the way till Sunday when you pitch. Sometimes they happen during the week though, but usually on the weekends. Um, and people who attend are either developers, designers, product people, uh, folks who are looking to recruit uh, someone for their company, or maybe they're looking for a co-founder, all sorts of people go. But again, it's there is like a recipe, I think, for success on coming into the hackathon, getting on the right team, contributing, and then walking away feeling good about it. So here, here are Adria's tips on hackathons. First thing is be on time. Now, usually they give you about an hour to uh, arrive at the hackathon, eat some food, drink a beer. That's your time to network. Do it. So if the hackathon starts at 7, but the doors open at 6, Get there like a little bit after 6. You don't need to be there at 5.53 or anything, but you know, maybe 6.15. So they'll give you time to eat, say hello to a couple of people, which brings me on to my next item here. Introduce yourself. Go up, look someone in the eye and say, hey, I'm Adria, but fill in your own name, of course. And, uh, and say, hey, how are you? And then just pause, right? I've, I've seen this happen so many times now at meetups and stuff. You don't have to say a lot. And I know it may make you, you may feel so uncomfortable. I feel your pain and your discomfort. Um, I'm an introvert, but I've had to learn to be social to really grow as a person. You can do it too. I know you can. Remember, like a boss. Okay, so listen to what the other person has to say. You know, whether you want to keep in your mind, okay, that, you know, they work on um, iOS or they are a designer and they're really great at uh, CSS3, whatever. Just try to get to know people and listen, okay? So then, most likely, you guys will all sit down. There'll be a presentation. Maybe they'll let people pitch ideas. There's a lot of different options here for how the hackathons go. But anyway, now is your chance to let people know who you are. So this next thing I have here is bring some ideas to the hackathon. You can do that by doing research ahead of time. Do a Google search on the last hackathon that the company held. What ideas came out of it? Which ideas won? You know, if there is a list of attendees going to the hackathon, Google some of them. Do you have anything in common? Maybe you could reach out on Facebook or Twitter or Foursquare, anywhere you want, right? Just some things. Now, then when you come to the hackathon, please, please take a shower. I'm just saying, okay? I know it may be right before, you know, and after work and all that, but maybe just head home, take a shower real quick. Just, you know, brush your teeth. Just be, just be clean and presentable. Just want to say that. Uh, and now when you introduce yourself, your name, your skills, and the ideas that you thought of that are relevant to the hackathon. So I just participated in the Foursquare one, and my idea was Hermit Square. Rather than figuring out where everyone was at, I wanted to know where everyone wasn't at. So I would know the best times to go to the grocery store, right? Or maybe Ikea. There's a lot of places. Uh, maybe the golf course, you know? Of course, I don't know the rate of check-ins for golf courses. Anyway, so then I told someone, and we pivoted the idea, and it became Coffee Square, how to find like the coffee shops that aren't crowded. And we, we, then we pivoted one more time <laughs> before we actually worked on GiveSpot. That's a whole other story. But bring some ideas that sound interesting. If you can do a mock-up. In fact, the um, team that won tonight, the guy had a mock-up already of his idea. And I think that really helped other people latch on to it. That's your time to pitch yourself, right, it, at the beginning of these hackathons. People then join together into teams. Sometimes people come as a team, like uh, I met Tony and John tonight, they already knew each other, they came together to work on an app together, because they're friends, they're both from Minnesota. Hey Minnesota! Okay. Uh, so then, from there, after you've broken up into your teams, and it's okay to switch teams, you know, even if you, you know, it's Friday evening, 
usually then people will formulate a plan. They will decide on the skill sets they have within the group and agree on a work schedule and you know check in with people and things. Remember though, be flexible, okay? So even if you were going to do this thing and but then you encounter a problem, speak up. That's my next one. Let people know if you're having a problem. Let someone know that what you thought was going to happen is not even possible or whatever. And then after that I have ask for help. I uh, was working on wireframes uh, at the Foursquare um, hackathon and uh, I decided to ask around the room because I'm like, oh, this is going to take forever to convert to HTML and CSS. And it turns out this guy, Gregarious, who uh, run, he's the co-founder of Shoot. I actually met his, his other co-founder a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, he says, hey, you know what I would suggest? You should Google for Bootstrap from Twitter. Sure enough, this beautiful, easy to use, like front-end framework that Twitter modified from less uh, it's it's CSS, HTML, and you know some great JavaScript things in there, buttons, pretty much anything you could want to build a website or even a web app. So we began kind of melding that with the Ruby and Rails, and it was it looked so much better than anything I could have done from scratch. So ask for help. Don't be afraid. You can ask on Twitter. Um, Foursquare had an IRC channel. They had engineers on site as well. I couldn't have asked for a better like first first hackathon. It was great. Um, the next one I have is be honest, because um, I have seen in the past um, at Startup Weekend the developer that we had on our team. I don't I don't want to say he wasn't being honest, but I think like the workload or what he was expected to get done in the the amount of time we had was maybe not realistic. And I, it would have been better if he had spoken up and said something and just been honest and said, you know what, we need two iPhone developers to work on this. I can't do it myself. Or we could have then, instead of making a working app, uh, we could have gone ahead and done some mock-ups instead and then kind of reallocated his efforts. Um, and the other one is take breaks. It was so nice today. Uh, Hadi and I, we worked probably till like 1130 last night and we went home. We, we came this morning a little bit after nine and we were um, presenting at four and about I'd say like 130 or so. Hadi was like, you want to go for a walk? I'm like, I would love to go for a walk. And I've read that as great advice uh, when doing these hackathons. Take a break. Don't work all night and, you know, forget to take showers and eat and all that stuff. You know, eat. Just walk around. Put on put on the shades, right? And be like, and that's what we did. So we just took a walk around the block. And it was nice just to, uh, just to talk about things. And, you know, we came back feeling refreshed, put in a couple more hours and presented. And it was great. Um, so... Uh, the other the other couple things I have here on my, my post-it note <laughs> include team up. So I thought, well, developers and everybody just go alone. No, they team up. Like I said, two-thirds of the people at this hackathon came with someone else. That's completely fine to do. And then if you can add more people to your team, great. Or when you guys get there, maybe you want to break up separately. That's fine. So uh, the things I would also suggest that you do beforehand include... Um, researching the website, I talked about Googling the previous event, take a look at the prizes, at the sponsors, uh, and at the APIs that are being encouraged to be used. So for Foursquare, they had uh, Twilio, Order In, um, Bing Maps, uh, they had a ton, and so I, you know, I actually looked through uh, many of these, uh, the one Stupaflix, um, just, just a ton of different integrations, so video, just ton of different stuff. Um, and then the last one is blog about it and look on your social networks. Maybe you'll find other people using the hashtag who are also going and by you blogging about it or doing a video like I'm doing now, you'll be able to connect with other people who may have been thinking about going as well and they see you're going now they're gonna go. So that's what I would suggest about how to go ahead and just rock your next hackathon like a boss. I'm Adria. I'd love it of course if you would subscribe to my channel. You can leave a comment down below or you can like the video. Take care and everybody have a wonderful night. Bye.